Welcome to 1979 Modular's Digital Resonator based on Mutable Instruments Rings. I'm really loving having this in the Buchla format. So let me give you a little overview. And of course, for those of you already familiar with rings or those of you not familiar with rings, I highly recommend going to DivKid's video where he takes you through all the functions. I'm just basically going to give you the layout and some sneak peeks into the sounds. I hope you enjoy this. The digital resonator can be a standalone sound source or it can process external sounds. I'd first like to just look at it as a sound source. By sending a pulse to strum from a function generator or a sequencer, you can excite these complex digital algorithms. Starting in the upper left hand corner, the poly mode is uh, green is monophonic. It sustains one note if you play more than one note. Uh, Orange sustains two, and red sustains four. And you can scroll through those three modes by sending a pulse to the pulse input. Going over to the upper right-hand corner, we have type. These are three different types of physical modeling. And again, they can be scrolled through with a pulse. Structure modifies the physical modeling algorithm, and it's different for each type. Brightness acts like a filter. Position can be thought of where in the file or on the physically modeled string, for instance, you are playing. If it's like on a violin, are you playing closer to the bridge or over the fingerboard? It gives different timbral content to the attack. Being controls the characteristics of the length of the note. All the way to the left will be staccato, all the way to the right is legato. Frequency, of course, is your main offset, 
and is quantized to the Buchla 1.2 volt per octave. The three buttons underneath the large frequency knob activate different CV inputs. The red button activates the strum, the gray, the pitch, and the black button, the frequency with its attenuverter. I'm going to use pulse out from the 223 to drive strum, pitch out from the arpeggiator of the 223, and then the keypads of the 223 to transpose that sequence. Check it out. And finally, in the bottom row are all attenuverters for all the parameters I've just been showing you. It's a really flexible setup to have control voltages express whatever you want. And next, I'd like to look at audio in. I'm going to use an audio from the Buchla 259E. This is sort of a fun little thing. I'm sure some of you have done it. If you haven't, I'll leave a link for how to get this. It's basically I am sweeping the twisted waves of the complex oscillator with a low frequency sine wave from the modulation oscillator. And you can find all these cool little rhythms. So I'm going to take that rhythm and pop it into the digital resonator. Enjoy. Thank you. 